What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use this amazing tool that's going to allow you to get perfect color combinations for your projects every time. You can use this for your architectural projects, for your graphic design projects, for just presentation purposes or if you want to put together that perfect looking outfit. I don't know, you can use this for pretty much everything. It allows you to put colors together that are that really look cool and they go together and it's a perfect color combination. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media, I post there as well. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. So here I am at the Google, which has some cool looking rocks today. Okay, so what we're going to be Googling is Adobe uh, cooler. So just find this Adobe cooler and here you go. So you're going to get to this website, uh, color wheel, uh, color schemes, uh, Adobe color CC. Okay, so you just open that website up and this is Adobe color. So what you're going to be getting is this color wheel and then you can play around with it. You've got some settings over here and you've got some colors over here. So if I start moving this like the main one around, the one with, that has this little arrow in the corner. Uh, if I start moving it uh, either towards this uh, the center or out of the center, that's going to determine kind of the, the saturation of the color and the light. And if I uh, spin it around, it's going to give us give us different colors. And of course, I can grab each one of these and then play around with those. Now, if I pull one out, it will uh, pull the others at like the certain interval. So you can play around like this and get some uh, colors over here. But of course, this isn't the only uh, setup you can use. You can open up this drop menu and go with monochromatic. This is one where you just go around and you're uh, just choosing colors like that and playing around. So this controls like the main one and then all of the, the rest can be controlled uh, through this. So you just kind of play play along like that, get a color, uh, you're basically getting more shades of the same color. Okay, moving on, uh, the next one is this uh, triad, and basically, as the name implies, it gives you like this triangle on the color wheel, and as you just go around, it's going to give you a, a triangular uh, way of, of finding uh, colors. So again, uh, it can be useful sometimes. Then moving on, we've got complementary. Okay, I really like this one. It's just opposites and uh, you can really get a good color combination. I, I really like this one, for example. Okay, moving on next, we've got the compound. So that's this thing. So again, it allows you to find these compound colors. You kind of move around till you find something you like and then you can use that. Moving on, we've got shades. So that's just one. And uh, this one is probably the most useful for me, uh, if you're just using one color and you want to get get like different shades for your project or your presentation, graphic design, whatever, uh, it's a good way to find the color. And we've got this custom, which is just, I think it's useless because you can do the same thing in Photoshop without using this Adobe color. So I really like the shades. Uh, but anyway, what do you do when you just find, let's say I like this color combination, so how do I use this? Uh, well, uh, you can save this color theme, uh, but uh, you need to sign in to Adobe. Uh, so that's uh, not something that I like to do. I don't like to have too many accounts. Or you can go over here and then you can find your uh, RGB uh, numbers or hex uh, numbers. So you can use that and just type it in your Photoshop, Revit or any software that you're using uh, the, these colors in. Or uh, my perfect uh, way solution for importing these colors into Photoshop, for example, is to use the snipping tool that you have on your computer. So you just go new, you grab this thing, and then you can use that little uh, color selector to select these colors once you load this image into uh, Photoshop. So that's like the simplest way. But this isn't the, okay, no. This isn't the only way you can use this website. The coolest part about this website is you can get colors from images. So you go here to import image, you select that, and then it opens up like uh, you can find on your computer any image you would like to use. So let's use this waterfall, just open it up. And as you can see, now it gives you the color combination from this image, but you can actually change this. Uh, here it gives you options, so you can go colorful, you can go bright, so that's this color combination, you can go muted, that's this thing. Okay, it's really cool. You can go deep, 
that gives you some deep colors. <laughs> you can go to dark, okay, some dark colors, or of course, in the end, you can go to custom. So you can just play around which part of the image you want to use, and then it will select the actual color for that. So you can just play around with images. Uh, so this is this is really my favorite option. So let's go back, maybe choose this one. And again, it gives you like these cool, uh, cool color combinations. Yeah, this bright one is looks really nice. Maybe move this a bit to this some greenish. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, but anyway, that's how you uh, import uh, from images. But there's also one more uh, thing you can use on this website, and that's probably the best option uh, out there, and that's this explore option. So here are some uh, color combinations that other people have created that you can use. So you can just play around, scroll down, maybe find, okay, you like this one, you just download it. Or again, what I prefer to use, uh, what I prefer to do is just select it and then go with a snipping tool and just uh, select the thing and load that image into Photoshop and then use that uh, later on. Moving back, uh, yeah, and these get like likes and views. So according to that, they're ranked, but you can actually uh, search for something. I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's, let's use this one. Yeah, and as you can see, there are a bunch of these blue color combinations that people have already created. And then you can use some of these. Do, do people really leave comments here? <laughs> it's, wait, let's find a comment. Can we open that up? Okay, wow. Okay, so you can comment on color combinations if that's something you're into. But anyway, that's that's how you use this Adobe Color uh, CC website. So either find your color combination using the color wheel, either import an image and then use that, or you just go here to explore, choose something that somebody already created and use that for your uh, graphic design, architecture project, painting, I don't know, whatever you need uh, a color combination for, you can use this website for that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new and useful. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, share it with your friends, do whatever. And I will see you with another tutorial coming tomorrow.